Hi Pisces, how are you guys doing? Barbie Luna here from the Spiritual Barbie Tarot. As you guys might have guessed by the name on the subscribe by the subscribe button. Um, so you guys, <laughs> this is your messages from your person reading. I don't always do these. This is the first round I've done in a few years. So you guys, please remember to give this video a like, especially if you like it. Comment down below and subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell next to the subscribe button so that you can be notified about every single future upload here on this channel. Alright, you guys. So I'm really looking forward to looking into your person. These readings are general, though. So if you want a reading that is specifically and privately and only for you, you need a private reading, and you can order those on my website. It's linked down below in the description bar. So these readings won't extend this week, probably not. So if you guys, um, so you guys don't worry about purchasing the extended in the link down below. All right, so my wonderful friends, Pisces, what does your person have to say to you? It doesn't matter who you are, as long as you feel guided, what does Pisces person have to say to them? Okay, Pisces, your person, they are worrying a lot for no reason. Obviously, they know there's no reason to worry, but this person is worrying a lot. They're in their head. They've got so many things on their mind that's vying for their intention, that's stressing them out. But this relationship, being with you, it makes them worry. Not because it's not safe for you to love them, not because it's not safe for them, you know, to love you, like in the sense that they don't feel safe to love you, but it just scares them because, you know, they just have many things that they worry about that they don't need to worry about. And that's just the main thing. This person just gets in their head a lot about many things and they're getting in their head about this relationship and that's what they do sometimes and you know when they do things that's out of character you don't hear from them for a little bit or something like that it's, they're worrying they're worrying about the future and it's tied to you and that's why they don't reach out to you but also they're worrying about stuff that maybe it's not directly related to you but it just makes this person feel bad about themselves and when they, don't, when they feel bad about themselves, they feel like they want to stay away from you. <clears throat> Sorry, you guys. It gets so... The, the camera lens gets so dirty. How does that happen so quick? I clean it every day. It's ridiculous. All right. So, yes, this person is worrying a lot, though. They got a lot on their mind. They're in two minds, but, you know... They've got a few things that they worry about when it comes to this relationship. And the main thing is how independent you are. This person feels like, you know, you're too independent for them. Like, like they're not even sure if it'll, if it'll work. Maybe because this person, they really don't, they really don't like, like, too much of a comfort zone. They kind of like to always be with their person and be together and talk to their person. And they worry a lot because you have a very strong comfort zone and you're very independent and you're very much like good on your own and you know self-made or whatever and it makes this person kind of in their head and feel like insecure or feel like they really don't have anything to offer you and so they're kind of going through that right now all in all this is something that they know they need to withdraw from and they and they will but it's just something that they are doing now despite the fact that they know they need to withdraw from it they're still they're still gonna go ahead and do it though because that's how this person just kind of is Justice ball. I hate when the velvet comes up. Bothers me. They feel like if you worry, you're worrying for no reason because this person, you know, it, them leaving you would be or doing whatever this is that you're worried about them doing would be outside of their own comfort zone, and it would if they are doing it right now, it they're not in their comfort zone, you know. You, they don't want you to worry because 
if you feel like this person is, is separate or independent from you right now or just on their, doing their own thing, they're not secure within themselves. They're out of their comfort zone right now. They're uncomfortable right now, okay? They're very worried, though. And they're very overwhelmed. They just want to talk to you about this. They just got so much on their mind. They just got out of a very heavy cycle. Got a lot going on. And that's just what it is. That's why this person really just hasn't been able to give you much. Is that they're worrying about their home, their comfort zone, their business, whatever they, they do for a living. You know, the things that they have, they're worried about being able to maintain their own independence and maintain their status and their level of comfort with having you in their life or with, you know, a change that might come about with you guys being together. There might be a change that happens because you guys are together and they're afraid that, you know, that you guys will work together because they're going to, you know, brush up on your comfort zone or you're going to brush up on their comfort zone. This person is very free. They move a lot. They travel a lot. But they also kind of are like having a hard time seeing potential in this relationship right now because they're not really in touch with their emotions. So they kind of dip out of that energy. They come in and out. They dip in and out of that energy. So this person, they want you to know this because they don't want you to think that this person doesn't see potential in you anymore. They don't want you to think that they don't want that they don't want to be with you, that they don't want a new beginning with you, that they don't want to make you an offer, that they don't want to offer you a ring, offer you, you know, this movement forward. They're just worried. They're not really withdrawn from their worries. They want you to see it. They also want you to see the possibilities of life around you and in things around you so that you can see what they're offering you, okay? This person, they don't want you to worry, and I feel like this connection is very high vibrational, and this person just wants you to tune out of all the worries that you have as they're trying to tune out of their own worries so that you can see all the beautiful things that they try to give you and the, all the wonderful ways that they are showing you love so that you don't you know, stay in your own worries. Because I get the feeling that both of you guys worry. It's like on and off, one person's worrying and then the other person's worrying. This person feels very defeated. They almost don't know what to say. They feel really bad. They feel at a loss of words. You know, they feel really cut down. They just feel like they're they're going through an energy where they feel really defeated and they don't they don't know what to say. They're also very angry as well at you, maybe if that's something that is gonna work out for the best for you guys. Some of you guys, this person is angry at you. For some of you guys, though, this person's not angry at you. They're just angry in general because they're going through changes. But they are determined to fix whatever issues that this connection is having right now. Whatever is going on in this relationship that's making the two of you guys uncomfortable with each other or causing discomfort, dis-ease in this relationship, they are really, they are really want to work on it. They're really working on things or working on whatever it is that they're working on to fix this. Okay, they want a new beginning and they want you to know that they that they're ready for you, that they want this, they, they want this with you very badly. The passion that this guy's this, that this person, that these people has for has for you guys, I don't know why that came out that way, is out of this world. Okay. The excitement, the I'm hearing trepidation though, that they feel as well is strong too. This person, they get nervous though. When they're around you, they get butterflies, they get nervous, they they, you know, want to make sure that you are into them and that you find them attractive. Because this person finds you very attractive and they feel like, you know, you've been trying to make them feel attractive and they they really like that. Like, you guys have been bringing more passion to this connection. This person really feels it and they're really excited about it. They want to fix things. So this person's worrying a lot about their family. And what they're overwhelmed with is they're going through, they have to, they're soul searching. And they feel overwhelmed with soul searching. They feel overwhelmed with studies, with being alone, whatever. But this is soul searching. 
it also feels like there's something very personal and intrinsic going on with this person like it might feel like a crisis it's not though they're just this person is like soul searching but they're extremely confused they're extremely confused about what's going on with them they couldn't tell you they just feel really overwhelmed really overwhelmed but the love for you it's it's here I don't know why it didn't come up first probably didn't come up first to explain certain things probably didn't come up first because some of you guys are in separation we're gonna get more cards though but this passion they feel for you is, is amazing and they it makes them want to come towards you it makes them come in you know it also makes this person start their start their day get up and get out and do stuff and and you know want to be in the world and create things you make this person inspired they love when you express yourself in your beautiful pisces way i'm trying to adjust this i don't know why this is not why do you do this sometimes i feel like this jewelry takes on a life of its freaking own and i almost don't like her a little bit she's kind of a little bit of a bitch a little bit okay like i'm like what is going on sometimes i feel like my jewelry's trying to sabotage me but anyways you guys we're back um, this passion here, it can't go away. It makes this person want to get up and go towards you. They want to come towards you and they want this passion with you. And they feel this dream with you. And this is real. This is real. You can trust this. person is manifesting communication they're they're gonna find a way to reach out to you or they're going to reach out to you if they know a way they're gonna reach out to you getting to know each other that's what they want to tell you they want to get to know you better they want to get to know the innermost parts of you you guys might know each other you guys might be together you guys might see each other you might, might, might feel comfortable with each other but this person wants to get to know you because in them getting to know you they're going to understand what causes them to, if there's a separation in passion, that's going to bridge the gap or whatever. Okay. So this person is dropping a self-mask that they've been wearing that's very not much not them. They're dropping something on them that is not really them <laughs> to embrace themselves more fully. And it's because they're wanting to get more into life and they're wanting to embrace life more and embrace themselves more. It, this is like a whole new beginning in life. And so they're dropping a facade. That's why they're coming towards you in such a loving manner. So open and sweet. Now this energy here, this is healing family issues. The harsh energy that they're kind of feeling. This didn't feel directed towards you at all, Pisces. But it does feel like it causes a gap in communication. And as this person heals their familial issues, it causes the gap in communication to, to close in and close in and close in. And then you guys come out of that. Okay. They also are dropping, they also are dropping baggage from their past. They have some baggage. They're dropping it. So they want you to know that you deserve love. And that's that's what they want you. You're so overburdened with stuff. I feel like there's something that you're so overburdened with too. And that they're looking at you and they're like, huh, it's time for you to retreat from it and you don't retreat from it, okay? But I feel like you guys are doing it. And they're also recognizing how they need to do that in their life too. Because this person, they would probably never tell you that this is something that you're overburdening yourself with. But if they notice it in you, then, they, then they're going to start to notice it in themselves. And so they're going to make these changes too. They might also feel like you retreat too much and they feel like you do it because you don't believe you deserve love. So you just need to know you deserve love. And so if you retreat from them, they want you to come out of that. Just come full force, be who you are. Mm -mm. And if they don't like it, they know where they can go. So there's no need to worry about movement or feeling like someone's too much in someone else's space or someone wants space and the other person doesn't because this person, they don't want space from you. This person wants to get engaged. They want to move this connection to a higher level of commitment. It doesn't matter how long you guys have been together, 60 years or five years, two minutes, five seconds. They want to get engaged. They want to marry you. You know that quickly sometimes. 
and your life is ascending but usually you know like really quick so your love life is ascending to a higher level Ooh, what is this i always do this you guys Ooh, i thought that was chips so your love life is ascending to a higher level they want you to know that you can come out of your comfort zone or that you guys are getting engaged and i feel like it's making you know this person wants to make sure that you're comfortable they're worried that you know you guys moving in together or moving this connection to another level it might infringe upon your comfort zone and so they're trying to make it more comfortable for you or they're trying to you know whatever but this person is so i think they're trying to make him i don't know i don't know talk to your person but um you know this situation here is ascending and there is an engagement and this situation here it will turn out happily it'll, it'll turn out happily someone's got this dumb thing around a comfort zone it's really stupid and um i don't know <laughs> it's kind of like let it go i feel like something is something someone's kind of harping on something and pulling on it and it's like just let it go <laughs> All right, so yes, this person is is worrying a lot. They do need to release their ex. They're worried. They want you to release your ex too, because they might feel like they this person wants to marry you. They want to give you a ring. They want to move things forward. They want this to ascend, but they're worried because they're like, oh, what if what if you know they want to know if you have somebody else. You know, this person they, they seem very understanding. They may put up with too much bull crap, honestly. You know, because that's not a question you need to ask somebody that you love. But they just really love you and they understand things about this relationship might not have been always fair or good for you, conducive to you. So they might understand if you stepped out in a way, but they might be wanting to talk to you or they might be getting ready to tell you like, oh, you know, I don't know if there's anybody else, you know, but because you know, they want to get more serious with you. But they might be afraid that you might be getting serious about somebody else or you might let them down. But that, once again, that's an unnecessary fear. That's a fear that they don't need to have. That's a that's a worry that's really, you know, not needed because I feel like you guys are going to get engaged and you want to be with this person. You don't have somebody else on the side. And, you know, <laughs> so chemistry, okay? This person feels a lot of chemistry for you and they're going to be feeling it a lot at this time and there's also separation as well you guys are spending some time apart now that doesn't mean that flirting cannot transpire okay there is this chemistry there might still be the separation this separation might not be this separation might be something that is constant or something that already that already happened something that has not happened yet but there might be a little bit of separation but that doesn't mean you guys aren't going to be flirting and having chemistry with each other it just feels like other things duties may call and that might just be what it is so i'm going to pull from one more deck oracle deck and i'm going to go communication that's a that's a big thing for you guys this person especially with them letting go trust and let go i'm going to read the excerpt actually they're saying i don't need to this person is letting go of attachments from the past that don't serve them that block their comfort zone this person constantly lets people override their comfort zone and you know they don't really like maybe let people or care if people ask before they do things and they might expect you to be that way but they don't understand how you're just respecting their comfort zone when you don't do that and so this person is letting go. A lot of the things that they're telling you, it feels like this person is very wise. And so they might be tell, giving you advice, but it's like, it's because you ask, but it's mainly the advice that they're giving themselves at this time because they're going through something that you're going through too. You guys are both, man. I don't know who manifested it though. Somebody might've done something, but it's coming to fruition. Okay. So this was a lot of messages from your person. I believe that that's all that they have to say at this time. Thank you so much for joining, you know, extended today, but maybe tomorrow we'll talk next time. Bye Pisces.